solution has cooled off now. I can touch it with my hands without burning myself. Um, this is about as good a separation as we're going to get. Uh, it's not going to fall completely down to the bottom of the solution and make it very easy for us to decant. Um, but it's separated enough that we can decant uh, most of that liquid off into uh, a waste container. So to decant, you want to separate the liquid from the solid. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the spout of the beaker as well as our stirring rod to help us do this. Okay, so I'm gonna fit my stirring rod into uh, the spout of my beaker. And then what I want to do is very carefully and slowly pour the liquid off of the solid. Um, so if I start seeing a lot of those black particles going into my waste beaker, I want to stop the, uh, the decantation right then. Okay, so we're, it's not going to be perfect. We're not going to get all this liquid out, uh, but we can get uh, some of that liquid out. So again, just very carefully, slowly pour it down that uh, stirring rod. The stirring rod is to catch any of the solid that may try to come out while you're decanting. We're not going to be able to decant to dryness. Okay, so I started seeing some of my black solids start coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and stop decanting. Um, and in my waste beaker, I did get a little of the solid. So when you account for errors or if your percent yield is um, very low, uh, think about the transfer steps. So I stuck this stirring rod in there. I have some black stuff on that stirring rod. That's where some of our um, product went. Uh, it sticks to the sides of the beakers. We're gonna move it from this beaker to another container later on. Think about those transfer steps when you're thinking about percent, uh, the percent yield and why it might, it, why it might not be um, as good as you would like it to be. Okay, um, so now we're going to add our very hot distilled water. That was our other beaker that was heating up. Um, and this is just as a wash. Okay, so from your reactions, you wanted to figure out what you are washing out with this step. So what is in this solution that we want to get rid of? Um, you may notice that I used about 100 milliliters of very hot distilled water. That is different from the procedure in your book. Um, that is just so that we don't overflow our beaker. So if we use 200, we had about this much, it would have overflowed this beaker. Um, so I want to stir it up really well so we can wash out as much of the um, as much as we can of the stuff that we don't want and then I'll let this cool off again and settle and decant it again. So our solution has separated again. I'm going to go ahead and decant this one more time into the basic discard before we move on to our solution again um, before we move on to the, with the rest of the reactions. Remember that we're not gonna be able to decant this to dryness. So this copper two oxide, this black stuff in here is going to look very wet. Um, that is okay. Um, we just wanna make sure that we get off as much of that liquid as possible without dumping out our product. Okay, so again, our solution, our, our product here is going to look very wet. We cannot decant to dryness, but I did get most of that solution off of the top. Remember, in your report sheet, you should answer what you're washing off. Um, so think about what does water dissolve um, uh, in your reactions, the previous reactions, so you can answer that question.